Lakes. Canada's University Football Championship one week from today at Ivor Wynn in Hamilton. St. Mary's Huskies is Blake Nill in his seventh year in that position, a six-year CFL veteran. He's got a couple of Vanier Cups to his credit in 2001 and 2002, and Blake was Coach of the Year in Canadian University Football in 1999. Brian Tyrus has been head coach of the University of Saskatchewan Huskies since he was 27 years old. He is now in his 21st season, so you can figure out the age of the head coach of Saskatchewan if you add those two numbers together. We're ready. Two teams, a win away from the Canadian Football Championship. This is Aaron David for Saskatchewan. He's got the 10, the 15, and wrapped up at the 20-yard line. So that, after picking up 12 on the previous play. Nun Wheeler, and he goes behind the right tackle this time. And methodically marched it down the field and when you're on the road you love to take the crowd out early and that really is not the case so far in this first quarter look at this drive and again plays. back at the 20. another saskatchewan first down feel into the far side and he's got a target or jeff piercy i should say number 30. gets his hands on the ball So Piercy with the eight-yard catch, and he's got the first six. And John, here's what happens when you've run lead blocks successfully. Piercy comes out like he's going to block for Nunweiler, and there's no match to be caught from behind. A touchdown pass delivered by Belan, and on the tenth. Nathan Hopper to the near side. It's Nunweiler takes the pitch. Left side, first down, Saskatchewan, and about six to spare. This guy has speed. And Finesse, averaging 7.2 yards per carry as a running back in the CIS. Boy, and John, the offensive line for Saskatchewan. They've got to start to count some points with it. Sukin will have it spotted by Drew Kendall. And it will be on the 35-yard line. Sukin into the wind. He has it for three more. Braden Zuka makes it 10 to nothing. Saskatchewan leading St. Mary's in the Mitchell Bowl. Hilltop, but he's patrolling the middle and it takes skill and agility. He did it perfectly. Literally no gain. Second and 10. Panella in trouble and wrapped up. Gottsling got through. Ryan Gottsling. First team all Canadian from last season. Well, this St. Mary's team has not been a good second or long team this afternoon, and that time Pinelli's throwing. He's looking downfield into a pretty strong foul in Concordia and Acadia, but he is a tough, tough quarterback. He picked up 12 yards, and this running play is not half as effective. A helmet comes loose. Giacalone was stopped in his tracks. Tyson Craig, a fifth-year player for Saskatchewan, made the tackle there. Loss of one, second and 11, St. Mary's. Panella Look to escape again, and he won't get away this time. Three Saskatchewan Huskies are there, led by Ryan Gottsley. Second sack for Saskatchewan and a kicking situation for St. Mary's. As Blake Nill says, it's anybody's game and uh, we'll see how they do on their first possession. Yeah, it's up to Saskatchewan right now, Leaf, to try and steal that momentum back from St. Mary's. Manella looking deep, he's got an open man. And it's picked up. Just kind of rolled into his hands, didn't it? Well, it really did. It was 
very similar to the one that went through his hands in the first half and that uh, Mako's caught this time in perfect position and he makes the interception and on the first play of the second half try to respond to that St. Mary's has scored the last 13 points after Saskatchewan opened with a 10 nothing advantage drop play Nunweiler huge game down to the 40 yard line Chad Nunweiler out of the Hilltop program just three weeks ago and Curtis Nash came up to make the tackle this guy's tough will be a first down Saskatchewan complete to Drew Kendall all of us again over to make the tackle and outs on both sides wheel meaning the back on one side and the slot back on the other go to the flat and then up trying to hit the home run b -Lad has had a good game those are his numbers however the long ball has not been his uh, forte today he's been much better in the controlled underneath passing game so it's second and 10 from the 12. Belen looks to the end zone. This is easy. Touchdown. Sheevan makes the catch. And he got in behind the cover. No doubt about that one. They set it up perfectly. watch he has lots of room he's got position to the outside against the middle safety Kirikopoulos no match for Kirikopoulos to stay with Sheeman to the corner a perfect first and ten Saskatchewan at the St. Mary's 11 so easy Piercy has his second touchdown of the day Jeff Piercy got open of easy touchdown tosses or at least Beelan has made them look easy first to Sheeman and then this one to Piercy well Piercy there he is he's highlighted there as the lead blocker on play action there's the fake it freezes the linebackers and as he scored like on his first touchdown early in the game same play same results Jeff Piercy with his second touchdown of the game End zone toss, and there's Graham Bell open in the end zone, number 25 with the touchdown catch. He was the guy who was to be one of the two running backs to start this season for Saskatchewan. In fact, he did. And then he gets an opportunity to come back. He's a fifth-year player, and that's a huge catch for a guy who's been around this program and hurt all season. Well, there he is in the middle. A little move to the inside. Absolutely freezes the defensive back first right. He can't stay with him, and that's a heck of a catch. And, uh, you know, give Steve Beeland credit. They, they needed to seal the deal with that drive. And, and Taurus and company. Touchdowns came in bunches for Saskatchewan. Sheeman, Piercy, and then Graham Bell. It was 10-10 at halftime. And right now the scoreboard with 13 seconds on the clock reads 31-16 Saskatchewan. You know, for me, John, it was that 11-play drive, the second touchdown of the second half when Piercy got his second touchdown out in the flat. And uh, that 11-play drive really was, to me, the, the difference in this game. Well, Saskatchewan started well and finished impressively as well. So the University of Saskatchewan Huskies, a team of the 90s with appearances and wins in the Vanier Cup in 90, 96, and 98. Back to the Vanier against Laval next Saturday. I think it's going to be a heck of a game. Yeah, I think it should be too, John. And once again, a lot of fun to do a college football game. And we appreciate all the cooperation both teams gave to us to get us ready to do this game. Thanks for joining us on the campus of the University of Saskatchewan in Saskatoon. This is TSN, Canada's sports leader.